What is going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. So today's video, I wanted to talk about what to do when you can't sell a statue. Uh, you know, I kind of have rules as well. And so I wanted to go over that with you guys. So I sell a lot of statues. That is no secret to anyone. It's how I fund the majority of my new statue purchases, if not all of them, as well as it needs to create space because I don't want that cluttered look. So I want to have everything nicely spaced. I want to be able to see it good. And if I can't see it and display it properly. And in general, if the statue does not bring you joy, then I think you should sell it. Now, that's always a rule for me. If the statue does not bring joy, get rid of it. Uh, you know, so, you know, these things are meant to bring us joy. That is the entire purpose of buying a statue. You look at it, it brings you visual pleasure. So I have been trying to sell lots of statues. Uh, I'm always selling statues. I have been for the last three years. Uh, you know, I'm currently selling Gentle Giant Black Widow. I'm selling my Nathan Drake. I'm selling Aragorn and Legolas and Frodo. Uh, unfortunately, there hasn't been buyers for any of these, even with lowered prices. Uh, but I've also been trying to sell my Avengers 1 slash sort of 2, 1-6 diorama. And I have had zero interested buyers for, goodness, four plus months. Now, there's a plethora of ways you can sell statues. I use YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, I think the majority of people just use Facebook and eBay. I try to avoid eBay at all costs. Not only are the fees extremely high, uh, but there's also, you get taxed on it, and there's lots of scammers there as well. Granted, there's scammers on Facebook as well, uh, but you definitely want to tr try to, you know, be careful and, you know, get references if possible. But I, I think Facebook is probably your best bet in selling statues in all the different Facebook groups and, you know, whatnot. Fortunately for me, you know, I have my YouTube channel with a decent following, so I've been able to sell a lot of my statues through there. And I've been able to sell statues I didn't even think were, like, super special. Super easy for well above what I consider its value at. And others where I consider it a smoking good deal, I can't sell it at 50% what I paid. And I think that's kind of my rule. If I can't sell it at 50% what I paid and I still love the statue, I'm going to keep it. That's kind of my rule of thumb. Now, if I don't love the statue and I've upgraded to a better statue, then I will keep lowering the price until eventually it sells. But other things like, for example, my Avengers 1, I still love those statues. However, I don't like displaying them with one four scales, with busts, with one third scales. I don't have space in this room, so, you know, I put it in the main room and I've had it up for sale for a while, but it just wasn't selling. So I came up with a strategic idea on how to keep it. And I wanted to show that to you guys. And in general, I think, you know, this is a good method. If you're trying to sell something, but you still love it, find a strategic way to still keep it. So for the most part, my basement's pretty much maxed out, but I found a way. There's always a way. Uh, and lo and behold, my Avengers Cove. <laughs> so this is still technically like next to my Marvel room. Boom, boom. Uh, I had these shelves here anyway, so it's not like this was shelfless. Previously, I basically just had junk here. Uh, junk inside the glass shelves as well. So I kept my Blu-rays there because I need a spot for that. Uh, but instead of having junk here, which was always not a visual pleasure for me, it always was kind of actually annoying to look at, I put the junk in my, under the stairs, you know, in my junk box, which I already had. And I put these statues here. Surprise, I didn't think this would work, uh, but it did. I did actually have to add one additional glass shelf because previously I only had two, not a big deal. In addition, I could not fit vision on this display, so I got this little guy because I still had sufficient space. So this is uh, my old Greek like pedestal column. Uh, it's funny because I actually were, was using all three of them and then I put them away thought, man, I never should have bought those. I'm never going to use them again. And now I'm using all three again because I found ways to use them. <laughs> so here we have it, vision. You know, I got just Avengers-themed posters here. We got Infinity War, Avengers 1, Avengers 1. I removed the posters here for extra walking space, you know, so I don't rub into them because they do stick out, you know, an extra inch. Uh, so, uh, you know, I've gone to the bathroom probably 40 times since I've set this up. I don't have any worries of bumping into this stuff because I always walk to the side anyways. 
every time I'm going here, you know, just walk to the side. But as I'm walking by, I can get good visual angles. You know, I even uh, installed his light up since I'm keeping this now. And I got all of them. I put Thor here on a riser like he's about to smash down on this Chitauri warrior soldier that Captain is hitting in the neck. So I really like how this looks. You know, and I got my Avengers Classic 1 poster. Underneath, I put the Avengers Blu-ray along with my Tesseract. So, you know, we got the Tesseract there, which is really cool. Uh, in the middle, I didn't want to put anything like props or anything, because that's the worst visual spot. So just my Blu-rays in a glass shelf. And then in the final one is where we did my Loki Hot Toys with Chitauri Commander and then the Avengers... Uh, suitcase so yeah that's basically what I did so honestly I really like this uh, I really do because I've always loved these statues even though they were one six I wish they were one fourth but I love having the original OG Avengers team you know that is the movie that made me fall in love with Marvel movies I freaking love that movie it's one of my favorite movies of all time and I'm happy I finally found a way to keep these statues you know, even Vision, which I didn't think I, I was going to able to keep because I love that Vision statue as well. It's a phenomenal statue. Uh, so, and we found space for these additional Marvel props, which I didn't have space in the main Marvel room. Like, I didn't know where I was going to put my Tesseract. Uh, the suitcase, I sort of had a spot, but it wasn't ideal. But now I have dedicated spots, and this totally freaking works. So I'm happy. I don't have to sell this anymore, worrying about it, so it's no longer for sale. It's staying in the Flankster Cave. This is my Avengers little hallway cove directly into the bathroom. Uh, so, and I also just moved my robot vacuum, which previously I had there. I put it right there, and that actually works a lot better now. Uh, so, yeah, this is it. Boom. So, when you can't sell a statue, you either lower the price until eventually it sells, or you find a way to keep it. Although for me, since I personally do love these statues, and honestly, you guys are crazy for not buying them at the price I listed. These are honestly super cool. I freaking love them. So I have uh, plans as well. Now I did obviously, you know, have this and this lighting going on to there. So unfortunately, the people who did my basement did not install light here, which is retarded. They should have put a light right there, which would have been made this way better. Uh, I really should honestly just hire an electrician to install more lights in my basement. I would like a light right there. I would like a light over at the beginning entrance over there. I want more light in that room and more light in this room. So eventually I may do that. It's just with so many statues, it's kind of like, how would they do it without making a huge mess? And I don't have to move statues. If you guys know anything about that and like if it's not too difficult i would love to just hire an electrician to come in here and install more lighting you know just more canned lighting you know that's kind of what i want right here you know this is an air purifier but at the end of the day i could move that not sure where to move it but i would find a spot to move it uh and I could actually maybe even move it right there. And I could do a glass shelf right there and do my Bruce Lee statue on top. And if I truly needed to, Black Widow Gentle Giant underneath if nobody ever buys it for my $500 price tag. So, you know, that's like another method. You know, like I'm like, you know what? I actually could fit a glass shelf right there and it wouldn't stick out. It actually fit there perfectly. So, yeah, I think I may potentially do that. So... I actually did try a little mid-room shelf as well for these Avengers statues, just thinking, ah, maybe I should do a mid-room shelf. At the end of the day, I really don't want to do a mid-room shelf because I always feel like it instantly, anytime I instantly put anything there, I don't like it. The only time I thought it was okay was the small coffee table. Uh, you know, like that wasn't too bad, but when it's a garage shelf, I don't dig it. A little coffee table is okay. Mm -hmm. So eventually in the future, I may do the little coffee table and do like Vampirella and Red Sonia on it if I need the space, for example. Or let's say I don't like Godzilla vs. Kong on the bottom garage shelf. I even thought that could be such a perfect centerpiece in the middle of the room. You know, we'll see uh, how that turns out. But right now is not a good 
you know, seller's market. Uh, we are officially in a recession here in the United States. And the United States is like the number one economy in the world. So if we're in a recession, you're in a recession is basically how it is. You know, we uh, are the most dominant country. So and that's just facts, folks. Uh, so unfortunately, you know, we are in a recession due to some bad leadership in reality. And it's not a good time to sell statues. So if by all accounts, you don't have to. I would say avoid selling statues until we're in a better economic situation where people don't have to be, you know, super frugal with their money. We're not, you know, so it just, it just sucks right now in the current situation we're in. You know, even at my wife's job, they just had 80 people get laid off. Even people that have been their jobs for like two months, boom, laid off. So it sucks. So people are getting laid off. And companies are spending less and less money, and people are going to be buying less and less statues. So it really does suck. I don't think like the statue companies like Saito and Prime One are going to go out of business or anything, you know, because we're all obsessed and there's still a lot of wealthy collectors out there. So they're not going to go out of business anytime soon. However, it's going to be very difficult on the secondhand market to move statues just because there's not a lot of buyers. Only the really hot, hot pieces are going to be selling like really quickly. You know, the very limited, the really high in demand stuff, you know, like J&D and very limited, you know, busts and just one thirds and stuff like that. So definitely not a good seller's market, though. So if you can hold off, if you can't. You just gotta keep lowering that price until someone buys it though, folks. That is really the key. So, you know, for me, I'm selling Aragon 300, Legolas 300, Frodo 200, you know, for all three of those. And, you know, I paid 450, 450, and I think 300 for each of those. So a few years ago, if I would have sold these then, I probably could get that money for them. But now with Prime One coming out with theirs, which also, you know, devalues them because, you know, people who need a Legolas one fourth aren't going to be looking at sideshows. They're going to want Prime Ones. Even though Prime Ones cost three times more, people are willing to pay more money to get the better statue, just like I am. Uh, but anyways, folks, that is it for today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Any suggestions as well for those out there trying to sell statues? Any suggestions and tips? And I'll see you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.